glasses match your uh, scarf perfectly. Oh, I feel Do you have so. Uh, glasses for each scarf. I should. I really should. <laughs> okay, so rock climbing grandma here. <laughs> We're on our way to uh, Gravity Vault in Hoboken, right? We're in Hoboken? We're in Hoboken. Uh huh. This title is Gravity And uh, this is okay. Alice's first time. It's not my first time. Um, I actually did a video on this that I probably already uploaded. If not, well, it will be uploaded eventually. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. It's going to be a good time. So, Alice, the climber, <laughs> is going to do her first climb at the Hoboken Gravity Vault. Five, seven holds, but the spacing was a challenge. Yeah. The holds were real easy. Holds were really easy. Yeah. Cool. I can't wait to get yeah. on it. <laughs> I was just thinking about um, the first time we ever set up anchors outside without anybody helping us. <laughs> and it took us two hours to set up a simple top. And yeah. then, who were you the first one to wait it? Yes. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I was the first one to try it. And and uh, I, I, that's how I met my cardiologist. <laughs> so I have a video of it. Yeah. I do. I saved it. I have to show it to you. It's pretty cool. Climbing partner, and she's going to tell us what we're doing. Ah, we made a girth thing around the tree trunk and then uh, clipped it to a um, eight knot. You? We went around this rock. Just did an eight knot around that, and we took, took taken some slack and just tied a knot and stuck a carabiner through it. Anyway, uh, just to want to say one more thing. This uh, this rock. So we got the loops going around it, but it's a big rock, and it's even attached in some places. So we're pretty sure there's no way it's getting through. We got two opposing carabiners and uh, two loops. Three loops in the carabiner. Riel has <laughs> vacillating. I threw it like, what, 10 times or something? All right, Alice, you ready to climb? I'm ready to climb. All right. Ah! We're, See the tower. we're ready to climb, we think. What do we think? Yeah. Yes. Real sight. Don't go sideways. <laughs> Why? Oh, because it's going to make somebody dizzy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. And this is not my last words in life. <laughs> so, what did you say about my bully glasses? <laughs> They're purple, too. Everything's purple today. Oh, my God. This is real today. I don't know if she did this on purpose. On purple -less. Was that just for today? Purple tape. Oh my gosh, it's Miss Purple today. I am a mess. I am a complete and utter mess. Uh, can you take me more seriously now that my belly glasses are on my head? This gym uses Gree Grease, yeah. which is basically this little guy down here. Maybe you could demonstrate. Like you talk, I'll demonstrate. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. That's how you use a Gree Grease. And then if you want to lower somebody, what do you do? Lift that little lever, and then they go down. One. It locks. It, it automatically locks when you pull on it. So if anybody falls and for some reason you let go, that person's going to be okay. Right. But you still always have to have your handbrake. You never let go of the rope. Never. 
rule number one in climbing, if you're on a rope, never let go of the rope. If you're the Blair, <laughs> if you're the climber, can you let go of the rope? You don't even hold the rope. You don't, right? But you don't want to untie the rope if you're a climber. But don't Unless untie the rope if you're a climber. Unless you. I remember when we went to Peter's Kill and Amy said, oh, it's the, the um, <laughs> anchors are a little sketchy up there. So we had like I'm shaking two, the camera. two different ropes tied into each anchor. We <laughs> must have had a total of four anchors total. Uh, when I showed Amy, I said, does this look good? She was like <laughs> laughing. So by now you should have realized that I do oh. enjoy ceiling fans at rock gyms. But I especially enjoy them when they have a balloon stuck to them. How's that coming down? <laughs> I'm doing top rope using Gree Grays. And another belay system that they do have here in Gravity Vault is the auto belay. So, Alice, what's the auto, auto belay? You ought to try the auto belay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's something you auto try. And it's all automated. Okay, so you basically clip yourself in, right? Yes. So I'm clipped in here with this super duper carabiner thing, a hemer. Um, right down here is a little triangle. It's showing you, uh, watch out, there's a climber above you. And then at the very, very top of the wall, all the way up there, is the auto belay. Um, and so basically, I'm going to climb, and if I fall, the auto belay will... I'll just laugh the whole time. I'm not going to be responsible. If he falls, it's because the machine broke. <gasps> so basically, She's I'm not going to fall. fall. I'm not going to fall. fall. I'm getting scared now. No. Am I going to fall? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, if you fall, the mechanism will start catching you, but you fall for like a few seconds before it starts. Right. You so. think you're going to die, and then fine. <laughs> after about a second, you only think that for the first time. Right, for the first few <laughs> seconds, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, and Alice is down below laughing at you. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Oh, boy. You can tell I'm not made to do film. Let's go to gym. I just broke the wall. Forget it. Um, Alice, yes. video still going. Did you enjoy the floor? The floor was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> the floor is something you want to try to avoid if you're going more than one foot per minute. One foot per minute? So that's how fast you fall to the earth because of gravity? Because Alice knows stuff like that because she's oh, really no, smart. I, don't. I forget. You're getting me confused with Newton. I'm getting you confused with Newton. I'm yes. just, I thought you were Newton there for a second. Wait, and then I thought you were Einstein for a minute too. Like that happened? Yeah, it's the I hair. Know, it's the hair. hair. It's definitely the hair. <laughs> I just want to- for a nut. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you for bringing the nuts. Oh. I was feeling a little shaky there for a minute, you know? You know mm -hmm. how you get shaky? Mm -hmm. Got it. Not I'm not, I don't feel so nutty anymore. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna try this boulder. I already did the green one, which is a V2. I'm thinking about doing the red one, which is V3. No, pink, V3 pink. Let's try it. It's higher. It's uh, more friction. More friction? That's good though, right? Friction's good except for our shoes. Mm. And I'm worried my rubber's right. gonna rub off. Oh. Get it? Get Get it. it. Rubbing the rubber yeah. off. Yeah. Uh, so we have to do this again. Definitely. Awesome. Some nice people. Always happens. That was amazing. People we know too. Like know. people from other places. And all right, well, tune in next time for another interesting episode, and maybe you'll see Alice again. Mm -hmm. My skin's peeling off. You know what this place reminds me of? Reminds me of being next to like the ocean. Uh, oh! Whoa! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where are you? Oh,
Here you are. I found you. Oh, oh. It's windy. Where'd you, you not go? getting blown around by the wind? I, no. I, I lost you. Oh, there you are. So nice to have you back. Yeah, it feels like I'm going to put my invisible shield on. Not working. It's not working. It's not working. Yeah, it's not working. Whoa.